Hello everybody, welcome to FC Marcos Adventure and this is Sunday Dem Jojo. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for coming once more. I don't want to lose you. Please stay and subscribe. So we are playing against um, Cape Town City. These are the guys that are yeah, in the league who haven't been playing well against. This is a team that has beaten us in the league uh, like quite a number of times of late. So the last five games that we played and last five games that they played. Last five games that we played, uh, we drew two, we lost two, and then we won one. We lost against Super Sports, then we lost against Santans, we won two one against Sukukune. They lost three, drew one, won the last game against Cape Town Spurs. So yeah, they won against Kipton Spurs 3-1, we won 2-1 against Sekukune. And yeah, we lost against Sundowns 2-1, lost 1-0 against Super Sports United. So, how have we played with these guys since the inception of the league, since they came in the league? We've played 26 times, we've won 14 times, uh, they've won 7 times, we drew 7 times, we drew 5 times. So we have played 26 times, won 14, lost 7 Drew five times. So, um, this is a team like, yeah, we have beaten them in the league, but of late, yeah, you can say that they've been our hoodie team, just like your TX Galaxy uh, type of team. So, against them, last game that we won, we won against in the in the MT8, where we won to one in their own ground. But prior to that, in the league, they won one nil game prior that they beat us two nil and then game prior that they won two one and then game prior that it was a draw in 2022 15 of April it was a draw of zero zero so they've been beating us quite a number of times of late so we're going to the game with a win from with the in the MTN but in the league we have lost so many games against these guys they've beat us like three times or so. So what are we going to do going to this game? I think going to this game, we're going to play with our heads up, with our confidence up, because yeah, against Sukuna, we came down from one goal uh, down and then we won that game. And yeah, we're playing very well. You, you can say we're playing very well. And this team, like yeah, they're out of form as well. So they haven't really been winning so many games. And then how are we going to fare in this game? It's going to be a tricky encounter because, yeah, like I said, Tikla manages to beat us. Um, yeah, it's one of those coaches that manages to beat Keza Chiefs. If, he's, um, if his plan is executed well, they can beat any team because, yeah, they've been playing very well. But one thing that you must be mindful of because if you remember against them in the M10-8, they play with speed. They play with speed, meaning what? You guys like your Shant, you guys like your Quinnika shouldn't start such a game because we need speedy uh, wing backs against these guys. and need guys who are alert because they play with speed and yeah, they can get the ball in the final dead like with just with that lightning speed. So we need to be careful on how we are to play this game or how we are to execute our um, uh, the strategies or the plan of the coach. So uh, we are going to this this game with confidence, like I said, because we won against Seko Kone. And yeah, we've been playing very well since the international break, but we haven't been scoring. So we haven't been scoring a lot of goals. We've been conceding here and there. We haven't really kept so many clean sheets. I wish that we can keep I think shit in this game and then we win. Uh, winning this game will help us to take us to a position uh, right there. Like, yeah, it can take us uh, like Boma number five because currently number eight also. But yeah, we have 11 points and on the has like 24 points. That's like 13, 13 points gap, guys. We need to 
lessen that gap as much as we can. So this season, what we can do, because the first half of the season last season, we got 22 points. So we are 11 points away from that in like eight games. So we can get to that. Like we have how many games to half a season? We have like seven games, seven games. That's like 21 points or so. Out of 21 points, if you can get that 11 and then uh, once you reach that level and then you say, okay, out of 21, how many can we get? We can get 15, 16, 18 there. Yeah, if you can get like 16, 18 there, it'll be a good uh, half for us, uh, judging by the how we played last season. It could be like progress, so to say. It could be progress and then come second half of the league, we are making sure that we are playing for Africa. Like, yeah, let's play for Africa am high and so many of you already have given up this season saying that we never get anything because we lost MTN. Remember guys we still have Netbank, we still have uh Kaling Kaling Cup, Kaling Cup, yes, the new format of Telcom. So let's see which trophy can we go and and challenge for. If we can challenge for a trophy this season, that would be nice. Challenge for a trophy and go to Africa. But yeah. If we can finish higher than number five, that is progress. Getting more than 44 points, that is progress as well. But get a trophy, like my prayers that can we get a trophy. We know that you could not get MTN 84. Yeah, you all know the reason why we couldn't get to the final. But yeah, so guys, we're going to this game. Um, I haven't heard much about the injuries. And then we know that Dolly. Uh, is about to come back. Is almost fully fit as well. Uh, oh, Gonzalez is still injured, and then Clant is injured. I didn't really check the conference from the coach, so I think those are the only two guys whom I know that they're injured. But their injuries might be minor. But let's see how it goes. So, which means that you we have Ranga back, we have Dupree's as strikers. Wingers, we have Dupree's also because it can be a striker as well. We have Dupree's, we have Botano, we have Modi, we have Saile, uh, and the wingers. Yeah, that's more about it. And then midly fit, there's no one who's injured in the midly fit, except that we need to be careful with Nteto, that he's one yellow card away from suspension. So how can we attack this game? How can we play? Simple, play the way that you've been playing against Sundowns, against Super Sports, against Rally M, against all these teams that you played against in the previous uh, games. So let's have positional football, let's play positional football, keep the ball as much as we can, play people who can keep the ball, people who have the confidence to keep the ball, and people who can take on a player or two to show that confidence. But one thing that we need to work on, yeah, our players are in the front there, they seem to look that final decision and they seem to be selfish at times like your mode is they're selfish and against Seko Kune uh, Castillo was selfish as well with that opportunity where he could have uh, passed it to to uh, to Modi and Pule no to Modi and who's this guy and Dupree's instead wanted to chip the ball. I don't know if he was chipping it inside or he was chipping it to Saile, who was in a quiet position anyway. But yeah, we need to be smart there in the final third because that's the reason why we are losing all. That's why we are losing in drawing games unnecessarily because we are not converting the chances that we are creating. We're creating so many chances. We enter the final third like nobody's business. We keep on knocking in the final third, but yeah, we are not converting those chances. I mean, we won 3 nil against Amazon. Can we do 3 nil against Cape Town City? I mean, yes, we can do it because Paris, they won against these guys 2 nil, and country do the same and add that one goal and be 3 nil. We can do that, but I'm not saying we're going to win 3 nil in this game, but I would love us to win convincing this. about high time that we beat these teams, about high times that uh, we are playing as a big team and we're making sure that all these teams they fear us coming to FNP and even if we are playing away because we know that with our fans, because we are a big club, we never away, so to say. So we need to start collecting points, if not on the road, start collecting points at home and start.
being stingy with points at home, that teams don't come and collect points as much as they like. We need to turn our 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 ground into a forte where players when 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 teams don't come and get points as much as they want. So, what are my predictions? We need to start playing good football, and we need to. Um, Put good display of football and start getting into the fact that more often and converting those chances. But yeah, let's see my predictions. We're gonna win uh, two nil. Would lovely to be three nil. Would lovely if we are to get three nil. But yeah, my predictions is two nil. We shouldn't concede. We shouldn't concede. Two nil. First scorer. I would love the priest to score because he hasn't been scoring uh, off late. He hasn't been scoring off late and he's been quite wasteful as well. Wasteful and selfish, you can say. And Modi he hasn't been scoring off late. He's been wasteful as well and selfish. And then, yeah, the player who's didn't go score for us is Castillo, who's a CDM. So we need to start scoring those goals as attackers or have attackers was scoring those goals, especially your Dupree's, especially your your Ranga, Gonzalez, if he's back or when he's back. So we need to start converting those opportunities. So but yeah, for now my first scorer would be Dupree's. The second scorer would be Ranga. I would love Ranga to score as well for his confidence as well. He hasn't scored for us as well. But yeah, because he hasn't played so many games. So I would love him to score. Just break the duck um, soon, hopefully soon. So my prediction is that because we played against CT and we played four, were we playing four, two, three, one? Because at first we started with that formation, but of late we've been playing four, three, three. So I don't know the formation that we can play. I think any formation now I'm comfortable with because the players seem to know what to do now versus the first few games that they did not know what to do when we're playing the 43. So any formation and then my striker because we're playing against speedy players. So the coach would like to counter counter that and play speedy wingers as well. For me, I wouldn't play runners. I would not play runners in this game. I'll play a target man. Someone will help us to keep the ball. Someone whom will be able to dish those passes to the oncoming players. So I'll play Ranga. I'll play Ranga and I'll play on the right. I'll play. So it's Ranga. Ranga. I'll play this guy. Saile. So it's Ranga Saile. The priest on the left. I enjoy him when he's cutting inside. So let's change just this starting up a bit. Let's change this standing up a bit. It's Ranga, it's Sail on the left, it's Dupreeze cutting inside. Both these wingers are cutting inside, and then behind them, it's Matlo. Matlo here yeah, is fighting for that position, he's fighting for that jersey. I love how committed that he is. I love how he has given us so much going forward and him checking back to come and mark. Saw him the other game coming to mark in the right back position. Yeah, I love his commitment. He's playing for the badge. Yeah, I love him. So it's Matlo. Behind him, it's Castillo. Behind Castillo, it's Mteta. So Mteta needs to start this game because he finished on the high in the last game and Castillo wasn't really on, wasn't switched on in the last game, but he offered us something going forward. And yeah, he scored as well. So Ranga, Saile, Ranga, Saile, Dupreeze, Matlo, Castillo, Mtetwa. That is a really strong lineup for it. On the right, Sforzla, close to him. Well, he played a very beautiful game. He played a very beautiful game. He was my man of the match before uh, Dover scored. So, Fosa played very well as well. He put so many balls uh, in the box. It was his side that was really contributing to in, in terms of crosses and all that. So, it's Fosla, Nobo, 
ist Satriana. Und wenn es Dove ist, Peter Sin, Peter Sin war in really at fault in the last game with the goal that you considered. So I'll give Kun, I'll give Kun, yeah, I'll give Kun just for that rotation and that confidence for Kun as well. So Kun feels like Do Dove, Novo, Satoyana, Ntsetwa, Castillo, Matlo. Saile, Dupreeze, Rang. Let me know what you think, guys. Let me know what you think about that formation. Oh, that's starting 11. Predictions to need. The man of the match. Mteto. The man of the match. Mteto. Yeah. Those are my predictions. Those are my starting lineups. Uh, goals. Man of the match. Formation. Ali Don Kelna. <laughs> This is a formation because I think we are comfortable in formation at the moment. But yeah, guys, go out there and represent us very well. We need this win. We did not play over the weekend. We did not play over the weekend. So we have we have had so so much time to recover. And yeah, plan. Now it's all about executing the coach's plans. But yeah, so far I'm happy with the coach. He made his own errors at first. But he's slowly getting out of that and still is is now finding his formations, is now finding his first 11 and tweaking it here and there, changing it here and there, or it's sitting with these other players. So, yeah, let's see how we play. But for me, when I win 2 nil, 2 nil, the Prince of Love to score, the Rang of Love to score as well. So, guys, tell me your thoughts. You're starting lineup, man of the match, first scorer, second scorer. Yeah, predictions. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. But as for me, yeah, that's how I see this game. I would love us to approach this game with being attack minded. Let's attack. Let's attack. And let's go goals. Let's go goals. Guys, love you. FC Emocos Venture. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you. Bye.